So our first stop on the tour de force is um, gravity near the surface of the Earth. Okay, so if you think back to week one in kinematics, we just said that everything near the surface of the Earth falls at 9.81 meters per second squared. And we even demonstrated it with these two masses that are different, same size, different masses. Uh, this one is HAL, stainless steel ball, and this one is AL, aluminum ball. And they have different masses, but they both fell at 9.8 meters per second squared. And the reason is they're feeling a force. So let's look at how to get that force. So here's HAL, and here is L, and I'm telling you that they feel a force, Fg. I'll call it the force due to gravity like that, and there's L's force, a little foreshadowing in the length of that vector. So to calculate the gravitational force, um, it's Fg is the mass times the vector constant g. So the magnitude of little g is 9.8 meters per second squared. It is basically the acceleration that we observed when we were doing kinematics, and its direction is down, because down generally for us means towards the surface of the Earth. So the reason they fell at 9.8 meters per second squared is because when you set this equal to ma and the masses cancel, the acceleration you get is equal to the small g gravitational constant. But let's go look and see what the actual forces were when we <coughs> uh, dropped those masses. So Fg here is m. Uh, the mass of Hal, it's a pretty big piece of steel. It's 1.86 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, all right, and we mean the magnitude of Fg. And what does that give us? It gives us 18.2 uh, newtons. I run out of room. 18.2 newtons. And then over here, we'll look at uh, Fg for Al. And Al, aluminum, has about a third the density of steel. So it's about 0.626 kilograms. It's the, same, it's the same volume. They're the same size. And times 9.8 meters per second squared. And of course, I'm calculating the magnitude of that force. So you multiply those out, and you get about a third. 6.1 newtons. So that is the force they felt when we let them go. And you may say, now wait a minute, Hal experienced a larger force. Shouldn't it have fallen faster? The answer is no, it also has a larger mass. Right? So when you divide the force by the mass, you get back to them having the same acceleration. So that's what was happening in that example when they both dropped, is they both felt that force. 